My name is Ken Ginsberg. I'm an adolescent medicine specialist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. You know, adolescence is an amazing time. When, if we can work with adolescents, we can affect their health over a lifetime. You know, it is during adolescence that so many behaviors are initiated that are going to make a difference to health decades to come. Whether we're talking about substances, exercise, or nutrition, we can make a difference now. The other thing to remember about adolescence is it's also a time filled with risk. In fact, if we talk about what really hurts kids or what kills kids, nearly 80% of what kills kids is entirely preventable. It starts with car crashes, followed by suicide, followed by homicide. What that means is that the reactive paradigm of medicine, where we say, tell us what you want us to deal with today, isn't going to cut it. It means that it's about prevention. But if we're going to do prevention right so that we can avert crises before they ever happen, kids need to know that we are worthy of their trust. What do they need to know? First thing they need to know is why we're asking these questions. I came here for a headache. Why are you asking me about school? Why are you asking me about stress? Why are you asking me about sex? The next thing they need to know is that we are asking them to be honest and we intend to be honest with them. When they know that the healthcare setting is a place for an honest interchange of information, powerful things can happen. Next, they need to know that we're not about judgment, we are about service. And when they tell us what's going on in their lives, we respect them because we know that they want to move forward. Perhaps most importantly is confidentiality. It is widely accepted that a confidential relationship with a healthcare professional during adolescence is key. So how do we talk about this? The way that we are all taught to talk about this is to say, I want you to know that we're going to have a confidential relationship. Everything will be kept confidential unless I'm worried that you're going to hurt yourself, hurt someone else, or that someone else is hurting you. The problem is that when we say that, kids have no idea what we're talking about, and they shut down and withhold information. Why? Kids don't know what the word confidentiality means. Ask kids. What they'll say to you is, thank you, doctor. I'm going to try to have confidence in you, too. So we have to choose a different word. We have to choose a word like privacy. Your information is important, and for that reason, I promise you privacy. In medicine, we call that confidentiality. Don't use the word secret, because secret is shameful. Next, don't tell kids that if you, I'm worried you're going to hurt yourself or hurt someone else or someone's hurting you, I'm going to have to tell someone. Why? Think about it from a 16-year-old perspective. Does a 16-year-old think that you think doing drugs hurts them? Yes, they do. Does a 16-year-old think that you, having, that you think that having sex without a condom hurts them? Yes, they do. So what they hear is entirely different than what we intended. If we want to build trust and create an opportunity for them to disclose the kind of information we need to hear, we need to be explicit. I'm going to keep your information private because I know how important it is, and I need for you to know that this is a place to learn and that's worthy of your trust. I also need you to know that um, I'm going to only, I would need to break privacy because I would need to support you to get help only under three conditions. If I was so worried about you that I thought your life was in danger, meaning you were going to kill yourself, or you were going to kill somebody else, or if there was an adult that was abusing you in any way, then I would need to get you help right away. But everything else, whether we're talking about stress or uh, feelings or sadness, whether we're talking about drugs or sex, that's stuff where I'm going to honor your privacy so that this place is a safe place for you to move forward and to learn and to make wise decisions. At the same time, we can share with them that we know that their parents are the most important people in their lives, and they, we don't want them to be angry at us when we suggest that we talk to their parents together but they are in control of that decision.